left with all the chop, Joker. Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. There's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the radar paints its silhouette as gap. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? Exploring an abandoned area, expecting something mechanical and nasty to jump out at any moment. Just like old times. kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. As curious as I am about the Reapers, I'd rather not be trapped inside one. We'll have to take down the barrier generators from in here. Any idea where they are? At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core, sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. If any helmsman can pull us off this thing before it reaches crush depth, it's you. We'll make a sweep for survivors and recover what data we can. Stand by. Aye, aye. Good hunting. Everyone's dead. I've seen this too many times. I 
couldn't see the shooter. A survivor from the science team? This might be useful. seen these before, Shepard. Dragon's teeth, your people call them. The Geth used them on Eden Prime. See how the room is arranged? They treated this thing like some kind of altar. That doesn't seem right. No one in their right mind would want this. You heard the logs. They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. We can't help these people now, but we won't let the machines use their corpses like this. to talk. A single Geth has no more intelligence than a Varen. Destroying the Mass Effect core should be simple enough. Then we get off the ship fast. This must be it. So the Cerberus team did recover it. But where are they now? Still intact. Leave it there. You know what they are. If it gets into Normandy's computers. <laughs> you said it yourself. No one's ever found one intact. That's true, but I'm not sure it's worth the risk, Shepard. There's no time to debate it, Talon. Come on. Hang on, folks. Open the port side airlock. we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. 
Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. It is important we test it thoroughly before attempting the Omega-4 relay. It will take some time to properly integrate it with our own systems. Are we talking hours or days? Impossible to say. The technology is complex. The crew will begin work immediately. Okay. Until then, we keep building our team. I'll let you know when the IFF is ready for shakedown. We have a Geth down in the AI core. Makes me a little uneasy. I hope you don't activate him. You would know best. That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser cut trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles, not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. 
It's a work in progress. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. You know about Knights Errant and Samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires, but your curiosity is quite welcome. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Cerberus obviously has your loyalty. How did you get involved with them? I suppose you've earned the right to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. 
But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. A battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Is this Krogan insight? Realizing you hate someone enough to justify torture? It's not torture. He's dead. But sure, it's wrong. The crime against us was bad, so the message had to be equal or worse. It's not Okir's hate, and it's not who they are. It's what they did. Thanks to you, I have a clan. I'm starting to see why this is important. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy. But you let a wretch live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. You sure about this? I want to do whatever I can to get your head on straight. Don't get all therapist on me, Shepard. You're not the couch type. I hate that stuff anyway. Bullshit, prison, psych. You did me a favor, and that's enough. More than I expected. I'll keep it together. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I'd like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. 
Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aye, aye. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. 
There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data.